What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I wanna share a little quick tip on how I like to use proportional editing mode in order to line up the 3D elements and landscape to a live action shot or even other 3D elements in your scene. This technique is very simple, but also very powerful as I end up using it a lot for integrating 3D elements into live action. Anyways guys, here we are in Blender. This is going to be the starting point for this quick tip video. As you can see here, I've just 3D tracked this shot and I've added a camera to our scene. And you can see if we go to camera view, play through our shot, we have a few tracking markers here. And as you can see here, I have some of our City Builder 3D add-on medieval assets here that we're just going to place into our scene. I might uh, get rid of our cathedral for now since it's kind of off in the distance. We'll just focus on integrating this City Builder 3D broken tower asset here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use proportional editing mode to first mold our ground landscape here, specifically this hill that we want this asset to sit on. And then I'm also going to use proportional editing mode to mold the assets around the 3D geometry that we create for this hill. And we can use our motion tracking data here as a reference to reconstruct this hill. So I'll just go into edit mode. And whenever you're using proportional editing, you wanna make sure that you have enough subdivisions. So if you don't have enough subdivisions, you can of course select your geometry and then subdivide it further here. But as you can see here, I've already subdivided the part of our ground plane that we're going to adjust most. So right off the bat, if we try to sculpt the hill where our asset's going to be with just the default settings here, you'll notice that we're just moving the vertices that we select. But by using proportional editing mode, which you can enable with this button right here, what we can do is we can actually select points and then by scrolling up and down, once we have selected the part of the mesh that we want to transform most, we can actually control how much it's affecting the geometry surrounding it as well. So what we can do here, we can literally just grab some points here where that hill is going to be and then go into viewpoint camera and I can literally start dragging this up and then scrolling up to kind of create this hill like so. And then we can, you know, select some points over here. Um, sometimes you have to be more precise with it. Sometimes you can get away with kind of a rudimentary sculpt here. But I'm just using proportional editing mode to create the base of our hill here. So now, as you can see here, using proportional editing mode, we have something that generally lines up with the hill in our live action shot. And again, we can be more precise with this if we'd like, but for the sake of this tutorial, this should be pretty good. Now what we can do is go back into object mode, re-enable our tower building, and then we can use proportional editing to line up our tower building here a little bit better as well. So I'll just place this a little bit closer to where our hill is in the scene. Let's check out our camera view here. Now what we're going to do is we'll go into edit mode and then we'll just drag some of these points here to line up with the geometry a bit better. So I can select this corner and bring this down. I can scroll up a little bit so it affects a little bit more of the object, something like this. Now you can see this is lining up a bit. Then we can do this corner, bring this down. Now, obviously we don't want it to stretch too much. We do have to proceed with caution here somewhat. Bring this down, so now it's lining up nicely. There we go. So now we can line up the actual 3D asset that we want to add to the geometry. So it can require some tweaking, but by using proportional editing, you can line up the geometry much quicker, especially for more organic meshes as well. So again, I'm just selecting these vertices, bringing them down so that they line up with the landscape geometry, like so. And you can also play around with the settings here, like you can choose connected only, so that only the vertices that are connected to what you have currently selected will actually be affected by your proportional editing. So there are some other things we can play around with here, as well as some, you know, we can randomize things. So for example, you can see that when I drag this around, now that I have randomized selected, it's uh, giving like a random distorted look, but that is perhaps for a future video. This is the general concept here, guys. This is how you can use proportional editing to line up your assets into your scenes. And we've done this in a fairly non-destructive manner as well, keeping all of our textures and everything intact, aside from some minor stretching and such. But anyways, guys, that is how you can use proportional editing to line up your CG assets into your scene a bit better. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects content and I'll see you next time.